This is Sean from Be Your Own Nerd. I'm going to show you what happens when you click on a link on the internet and all of a sudden it acts like you have been affected with the virus. The first thing to remember is you don't want to panic. For this video, I'm going to show you how to do this on both Mac and Windows. I'm going to start with Mac and also I'm going to show you how to do this with Google Chrome, but this will work with any web browser that you're using on your Mac or Windows. It could either be Edge, Firefox, Chrome, Arc, Brave, any browser. The steps will be the same. Let's say you're out surfing the internet and you click on a link and all of a sudden this happens. The first thing to remember is that this is fake. You are not infected with the virus. This is 100% fake. Do not panic. And most important of all, do not call the phone number displayed on your screen. If you're using Chrome, you're most likely going to get this little pop up here that says leave site. And it doesn't matter what you click. You can click this box or not click that message. box. It doesn't matter. Your but then all of a sudden, it's going to play this message. Your IP address was used without your knowledge or consent to visit websites that contains identity theft virus. I'm going to turn this down for the purpose of this video. Like I said, the most important thing is don't panic. You have not been infected. This is all fake. This is just a website displayed through your web browser on your Mac or your Windows PC. What you want to do is very simple. Since you're on a Mac, what you're going to want to do is this. Take your mouse. Go to the upper left corner of your desktop, click on the Apple logo, go to force quit, left click on force quit, find Google Chrome and click force quit. It's going to prompt you, click force quit again. Boom, it's gone. You're safe. When you reload Google Chrome, it's not going to be there and it's not going to open up again. And this is for Windows users. Here I am running Google Chrome under Windows 10. If all of a sudden this pops up while you're surfing the internet using Google Chrome or any other web browser on Windows, it could be Edge, Firefox, etc. It doesn't matter what you're going to select in this box if you're prompted. So just go ahead and hit cancel. And the most important thing here is remember, don't panic. And the second most important thing is do not call the phone number on your screen. This is not Microsoft support. They are not going to help you. What you want to do since you're running Windows is on your keyboard, you're going to hit three keys, Control, Alt, and the Delete key. And once you do Control, Alt, Delete, this screen will open up. You're going to left click on Task Manager. And under Processes, you're going to find Google Chrome. As you can see here, the processes will be moving around. So the easiest way to do this is you want to click Name to put them in order. Here's Google Chrome. You're going to right click on Google Chrome and you're gonna to go to end task. Boom, Google Chrome is now closed and you are now safe. If you reopen Google Chrome, you will be fine. Once again, remember, you are not infected with a virus. This is totally fake. It's just meant to scare you. It's meant to get you to call that phone number for help. It's meant to get your credit card information to charge you money. It's meant to let them access your computer remotely so they can encrypt your files and blackmail you or do anything else that they wanna do. Don't ever, ever call the phone number. And most importantly, don't panic. You don't want to panic. If worse comes to worse and you forget these steps when it happens and you're unable to access this video for help, go ahead and unplug your computer. Wait 30 seconds and then plug it back in and you will be fine. But the steps I showed you in this video are the safest way to close your web browser to stop this from happening so you can get back on with your life and not feel scared. Once again, this is Sean from Be Your Own Nerd. You can reach out to me on my website at beyourownnerd.com or you can leave a comment below. Also on my website, I have a free weekly tech newsletter that I send out every Tuesday. It's totally free to sign up for. Thank you so much for watching and have yourself a great tech day.